Okay, Rich Table Talk, take one, action. <laughs> so you and me, Nicole, yeah. go ahead and take, let's get your cameras on for us. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome, 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 everybody. Rich and Royal, welcome. We are here, Rich welcome. Table Talk in the building. We got some group talk today. It's a little bit different. You know, we wanted to spice it up, mix it up a little bit. You're not used to kind of seeing more than one or two faces, but you know, we said it was American what? Invasion Week, and my beautiful rich family have definitely come in thick and strong. It's amazing. It's a family affair. Mm -hmm. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Go ahead. So we're talking to you, as always. We're talking that rich talk as always. And um today we've got a few topics that we kind of just want to throw around and discuss. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a few beautiful um people in the building here, and the similarity or the commonality between most of them is that these are parents and children traders, parents and their own children that they've birthed to, or their godchildren that are actually in this space trading together. And um, so we just want to kind of discuss what that even looks like, you know? And um, first of all, I'd like each and every one of you to go ahead and introduce yourself, say who you are and where you are and what kind of your mm -hmm. experiences and why you even said yes to this space. Go on, Miss E, you can kick it off. <laughs> Hi, I'm Evelyn White, along with my son, What's your name, son? Jazil. <laughs> Jazil White. And we're coming live from the Big Apple, New York City. Yay. Woo -woo. Welcome, welcome. Hey. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Who next? Who next? Go on, Miss Pretty Rich. Hmm? You're on mute, babe. Miss hmm? Kawana, you're on mute. We can't hear you. Hey, there everybody. This is Kawana. Miss Pretty Rich. And I'm on with my god child, Ashley Lafayette, the first person I bought into the game with me of wow. trading. Yeah. For real. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Miss Ashley, you on mute as well? Great. There you go. Hi. Hi. I'm excited to be on the call. Um, yeah, I joined. Um, she was actually had the um privilege of doing one of the benefits of the open enrollment, and I got to see over the holiday. Okay. He, um bought in you know money and produced income and profited in her demo account basically like the whole time we were oh. holidays and when she joined I was like hey you're not leaving me so um that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> been together that's since. amazing how, how when was that when we had um, a few open enrollments this year we were blessed this which was open enrollment was that it was the very January first enrollment that ever happened no yeah it was, was in January wow. it was in 2019 wow, wow. That was in 2019. 2019. Oh, so you were oh the that was in 2019. Girl. Yeah. You're the OG girl. Oh, wow, for real. Mm -hmm. Pre-pandemic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pre -pandemic, <laughs> it's a different world, yeah. right? <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. That yummy was... money, yummy money. Go ahead and tell us who you are. Hey, you guys. From. How y'all doing? My name is Tao, a.k.a. Yumi. Um, I've been trading for about five to six months now, and... Let me tell you, it has been a blessing to me. When I say blessing, not like a low blessing, but a high blessing. So wow. I've been doing so well with it, especially helping people along the way with families and um, trying to basically uh, open the doors for financing and understanding, just not empowering women, but everyone else along the way. So it was, it's, it's a great environment. Everyone's helping out. And I'm in love with everyone that I work with. With and also building relationships with and it's just a it's just a, a blessing like I said so <laughs> it's great to meet you know, everyone <laughs> it's great to, you know what's amazing you know what's amazing before um I go ahead and get Miss Joanna UK to introduce herself Miss Yumi I think this is the first time that we've um, well that we've connected in this way like on a you know on a I mean how how better way to connect than at the rich table right um, and right. I actually saw you um on um I think it was Dr. China's live when you guys were doing boss talk in New Orleans and let me tell you you really warm my heart I can't wait till we get into the meat and potatoes of your story because I was inspired you know I've been in this place so for years and, 
literally blown away when I reached out to you and you even knew who I was I was like girl you know me yes I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh Miss UK is contact me oh my goodness what do I do oh my god let me put my coffee down (laughs) before I drop my coffee I was like oh my gosh I was about to spit my coffee I was like well I'm I'm overjoyed (laughs) to have you on today so go on Miss Joanna UK hi everybody I'm Miss UK's mother (laughs) And also yeah, Nicole, on, which yeah. showing, I'm not sure where Nicole is, but she's my daughter also. Um, yeah, I got into this space in March after we met Dr. China and Logic at the conference in February in London. Um, yeah. After that, you know, the lockdown, when the lockdown happened, I was away from work. I couldn't get into the schools, all the schools had closed down. So I found myself mm. without a job <laughs> because at that time I was working as a supply teacher. So I had no income. So obviously this thing that was presented to me, I, I took it seriously. <laughs> I started to take it seriously. Yeah. And if I'm honest, I didn't really start trading straight away. I'm more of a, you know, person. I've just shared the information because I could see the value of it being a school teacher, the education really, um, you know, it it seemed, it made a lot of sense to me to share the Mm. education to people who wanted to better themselves, single moms, you know, people who had also lost jobs throughout the lockdown, you know, yeah, so I started building, I I started building by accident really. So <laughs> now I'm training. A great accident. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? A very part. I just love this. Don't you just love Skrill? Right. Don't you just love that residual Fridays. Woo! That's Ooh, my Skrill. That's legit. That's legit. Come and and there you go. <laughs> Every Friday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, and love for that piece. My sister. Oh. My oh, sister, so Miss Nicole, I don't know why you're incognito, bro, but uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Nicole. I'm, as you know, <laughs> Miss UK sister and Miss Joanna's daughter as well. And yeah, I'm from Manchester. I've recently become, gone back to studying. So I've recently gone back to university. So it's definitely helpful to have the potential of an being that I've had to, my income's been cut because I'm no longer working full time and I've gone back to university full time. Awesome. So let's chop it up. Let's talk about it. Let's just talk. Let's just get right into it because we're all from different backgrounds. You know, we didn't know each other before the space. And um, so, you know, being that we're in the middle of very interesting times, you know, how is it that um, especially this is this is we're we're a family inside here. But, you know, our family is like our first business, if you like, or when they, we stay here in Manchester, charity starts at home. Um, and when times get hard, you know, when times get rough, they're the times when you have to really be resourceful. Um, and there isn't always a lot of things or ways out there to stay afloat. Now, um, you know, Miss Pretty Rich, I know that you had a very high level position um, at the start of this year and things kind of shifted and changed. Um, yeah. How has that, how's that look like? And um, as far as, you know, I know you got two beautiful pretty girls as well. You got your goddaughter on now. And um, what was yeah. that kind of evolution like for you? Um, you want to know what the evolution was like working in corporate America with a high position or what transition in, you know, that happened that made me leave the job? Yeah, transition, because, you know, going from such a high level position and obviously like let, let us know exactly what you were doing. Um, but I know I've seen I've seen you go. I've literally seen you come out of nowhere, basically. Right. <laughs> it's like, like, real yeah, like real quick. What you saying? I love our hustlers, you know. Story. Yeah. So, um, okay, guys. Um, my story is I um used to own beauty salon and all of that stuff in my previous life. So I really had never worked for anyone um ever when growing up. I always had my own. Then when Katrina came and divorced, you know, I lost everything. So I started from scratch. Mm. Then um I kind of got into corporate America working for one of the well-known um, airlines. 
And I kind of started at the bottom there as well. Um, just being an admin, uh, doing payroll and, you know, jumping in a plane, loading the plane. <laughs> so I done my work. So I just was looking at the general manager position and I always knew I was qualified. So I just strive, like I put it in my head, like if she could do it, you know, I could do it. So I just pushed myself and I just tried my luck. I, um, I applied and I actually got the job and then, wow. um, I had to relocate. Now that was a big thing because like you said yeah. earlier, you know, it was a transition. My 21 year old was about to go to college. I, I had lost my mom. Um, so I was going through like a real tough time. And at that time when I got the job offer, you know, it was like a new beginning for me. So mm-hmm. I took the job and then, you know, here comes Dr. China, you know, out of the <laughs> blue, you know, but listen, guys, I actually prayed. I had talked to Ashley mom, like in December, I think. And she was just like, you know, people think I'm like out going out and doing all that. I'm really a homebody, guys. So she just was like, <laughs> you need to find some friends, you know, some like minded individuals that encourage you and, um, you know, bosses and stuff. You know, you got to watch the company that you're keeping. So yes. I prayed, actually. I had prayed in December. I was like, you know how we make the new year, new me, you know, I didn't want to do that one again. I just was like, yeah. Lord, you know, bless me with some like-minded individuals so I could get my drive back. And what I mean by drive is, I mean like my independency, you know, yeah. that I always had that I lost. Because you can lose your drive, guys, going through life situations, you know. Mm-hmm. So Dr. China, you know, God blessed me with her, really. And um, ever since then, it just had been amazing. Um, my life has been Really amazing. I've still been going through it because, um, you know, life happens. So just when you're about to get there, you know, sometimes the devil come in and try to steal your joy. And the first thing he do is attack your mind. So, you know, I go through everything. I'm not perfect. Um, but I make sure I get up and look cute, though. I'm going to fight the battle, too. <laughs> Always. Oh, you know? I mean, okay, you had a whole 21-year-old daughter or you had a whole 21-year-old daughter. Like, I still don't believe it. I still think like you're one of Anjay's little friends. When I met you in London, That's I was like, absolutely. <laughs> That's what you said. She was like, is that Anjay's little friend? I was like, well, is it the height <laughs> or what? <laughs> amazing the grace the grace the grace um but i know like um similar to you miss joanna uk um and this is group conversation so you know you guys can chime in chip in talk about you know similarities in your experience and any anyone who's got any questions please drop them in the chat so we can you know we can chop it up we can talk about it but going from a position like you said miss joanna way you was having a steady check coming in like a uh, you know wages being paid you know regularly um and the carpet being pulled from underneath you and then you know um miss pretty rich the same for yourself you know you kind of well you kind of made the decision you know you you, you spoke about it a little bit on the hood of car i don't want to tell you story for i you. just want to be honest i was actually forced you know what i'm saying to make the decision um because i was sick and everything and uh, you know corporate america is real like you don't have no sick time in days i had covid you know what i mean like my wow. story is amazing but they used to call me and be like, when you coming to work? I'm like, I got supervisors, managers, what y'all want? You know, I'm, I'm trying to deal with this, <laughs> you know? So I was forced to make a decision. Um, and my decision mm. was good, you know? So yes, what did that look like though as a trader? Yep. You know, from the perspective that you came in the space, you know, you connected to all this stuff, but you still at the time, you know, you were good, you know, you had, you know, the check coming in and all that, you know, high level role. Obviously, COVID hit, or you um, unfortunately um, had to spend some time off. What was that transition like, you know, from people talking to you a certain kind of way at work, not even being well, but now having something in your fingertips that you already tapped in prior to this? or And everybody else, like, you've got a similar experience because sometimes I know from being in this space a long time, um, this wasn't particularly my story, but I've seen people come in and not really um gravitate or use what the power that's in their hands not really maybe appreciate it maybe they got so many other things going on like we all have life going on but sometimes certain things happen and you're like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute like let me just really like tap mm-hmm. in for real for real and then that's when the you truth. realize wait a minute the whole time like this app has been on my phone the whole time i'm looking at us right now in a very delicious um upwardly movement <laughs> and I'm, i literally cannot imagine not having access to this not knowing about this like i'm 
You know what I mean? So let's talk about that, you know? Well, um, the the ability to actually, I'm just like your mama. Like your mom said, <laughs> she was just like, I can't, I became a builder unintentionally, period. I was just, you know, I just wanted to do my little trading. I wanted to be in the background. I didn't want to be in the forefront. Yeah. And I was just pushed, you know what I'm saying, into the forefront. Um, and then just being around motivating people like yourself and, you know, Dr. China, people all over the world. I had the opportunity to meet you guys in person and just to see y'all drive. You know what I'm saying? The energy just kind of rubbed off on me. So I just, you know, like I look at other people and I feel like, man, yeah. they did it. I could do it, you know? Yeah. So I, I second that, Kawana. Definitely. Yeah. Hey, it's Yumi. Sorry, guys. Sorry to cut in, but I was, I'm oh, feeling no, we your just vibe right you, now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk, I know. Right. I'm sorry. I just came out in there, but um, I totally vibe with you. I uh, totally agree that um, the person that has the motivation, that drive you want to be around, you know, because uh, you, do. you don't want to be next to someone that's like, oh, you really going to do that? I, I don't know. Yeah. Are you sure? You know, you will be, yeah. you want to be with someone like, yeah, let's do this. Come on. Do you want to do this? I'm pretty sure you got this 100%. Let's go. Um, you're yeah. going to be riding with me. Let's go. We're going to go take off right now. Bath off. So I feel like 100%. Yes. Uh, the vibe, the people, um, the motivation that everyone that's around you definitely hype you up and uh, the knowledge they are willing to share is just phenomenal and unselfishness and you know it's just amazing that is right yeah. and I am like 100% like so blessed and so grateful for everyone and all my mentors especially you Miss Kawana to be able to be in the same space as you and not Aww. knowing about it you know what I mean wow. everyone Thank here you. everyone here to have to share their story to say that this is the reason why they said yes to forex you know to change a lifestyle yeah. to change to change the mentality and to grow mentally and with your knowledge to be able to for to lead and pave the pathway for generations uh, other to come. people yeah exactly, exactly. Well. so for real, like i mean I said, Yumi, how did you fall into the space then because you know, tell us a bit about where you're from and how you even, you know, knew about a forex to say yes to and all the things you're taught. How did you even, because from the outside looking in, when people think about, you know, forex and trading, they don't think about this family environment. They don't think about mentorship. They don't think about, you know, billionaire boardrooms and, you know, masquerade mansions and, you know, all the other things, boss talking. So how did you... You know, okay. tell us your story. So, okay, let me tell my little story. All right, so this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened. So, of course, um, I used to work in, well, I work in a hospital and I am a surgical technologist and I always do these strange jobs like because I'm always busy I, I love to learn I'm always I love to do different things like I do all sorts of things okay because I get bored easily so the it, fact that I because mm -hmm. I get bored so easily I'm moving one thing to another what what's my next DIY you know what's my next yeah. book what is what is this what is the next that's always my thing um so I told my friend hey uh I was just talking to her like I need to make some extra money um I, I want to buy this new purse I want to buy I want to pay off my <laughs> bills like all at once I was really resulting to finding a sugar daddy but you know what I had to like, <laughs> tomorrow I'm telling y'all I'm telling the truth you guys I'm trying to be real that's right girl I tell the truth I was Shame like, I was like oh. man let me find myself a sugar daddy I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh go ahead and record <laughs> myself on like sugar baby as like hey hi you guys like, i wouldn't try not to give any sugar the only sugar i was trying to give was table sugar so it was, <laughs> so it's it was a lot so i told my friend about this and it. she said hey she's in rich you this in this group for us she's been trading for a couple of months and of course in my mind i'm like you trading what you what you trading and she uh -huh. said, I'm um, trading Forex, uh, which is the foreign exchange, which is short for foreign exchange. If anyone uh, attendees don't know foreign exchange, right. uh, you're trading currencies. Um, and basically what she did was, let me help you out. Let me connect you to my mentor and see what you what you feel about it. And um, let's see if you can if if you if this is for you. And of course, the first thing in my mind, like, is this a scam? 
You know, right. a lot of pe- a lot of people when they first come in, like you can make millions of dollars, you can make thousands of dollars on your little phone just to finger your tips. And I was like, Nah, that's not true. Yeah. That is not true. That is a scam, baby. That is a scam. I don't know what you where you've been. I don't know you. I know you, but I don't know you know you. So the whole time I was just like, I don't. I, this is freaking me out. So. Uh, I went into, I was like, I took the leap of faith because Toya, I don't know if, if she's here. Is Latoya here? Uh, Toya, the game changer. Yeah, Miss the game changer. That's right. But, um, well, she's the one, she was my mentor. She was the one that, hey, sh- let's go ahead and try this. And what I love about this is that they hold your hand. When I was in, when I was introduced to this space, they held your hand 100% um, saying like, look, this is what you need to do. You need to do bam, bam, X, Y, Z by this time, by this date, and make sure we start making you start trading by this date. Okay. And so the fact that they put me on a schedule and the fact that they uh, listed me in the process, I was just blown away. I was like, I didn't know this was this was this type of environment. Everyone is just so helpful. I don't know what to think because you're so used to because you're so used to the mindset of you are only out for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, being being in this space of you are your own kind. You take care of your own self. But and also going to school, you go to school, you go, you do the what you've been taught by society. Right go to yeah. school, get good grades, find a good job to pay off all yep. those student debts, right? right. right. Wait, I just want to pause right there because you're talking student debt and I know we got a few students in the building, J25K. Like, you hear me? Let's, let's go, right J. Yes, <laughs> oh, it's J. It's J. Who do you guys first and so foremost? Because, you know, we're so varied in here with um, our age range just so people kind of know how old you have to be to do this. So, J, how old are you now? I'm 19 now. 19 now, mm-hmm. big 19. Wow. I hear that big voice. You, I'm 19. Let's now. go now. <laughs> <laughs> 19 now. <laughs> Look at him. So he's, he's good. <laughs> he passed 18. He can sign on now. <laughs> yeah, real, see, in the real. building, making big money, big bank. There you go. Well, this is what I'm saying. Right. So how, Jay, how did you get in the space? Because obviously, I know Miss E. I know your mom, Miss E. There next to you, the beautiful Miss E. N Y C. Um, and I've known you, Evelyn, for quite a few years. I think the whole time we've been in this space, right? A good four years, right. you know, <laughs> all the way back to orientation days and when we were all trying to figure it out. So <laughs> and I want us to be real authentic and true and, um, you know, on this call, because sometimes, you know, when we're doing things for so long and maybe we're not getting you know, maybe the results that we want or whatever, but we still have something in our hearts where we, you know, believe in it and you know, I've been on a journey in this space, you know, a journey of up to journey of that, just like, you know, in life in general. Um, but mm-hmm. I, always came across, I always had that belief um, and I always wanted to, um, well, at the, at the time, I didn't really intentionally want to share. I'm not going to lie. I just wanted to, you know, get rich in my pajamas. Um, but yes. Honestly, you're like yes. the evangelist of Forex right now. All you're like of us. Rich, you evangelist. <laughs> uh, so how, Jay, how did you come about, you know, rock up onto this trading thing and why as a 19 year old or 18 at the time <laughs> um so when i first started i was 18 i was in college at the time so you know me I, i'm a basketball player so i'm coming out of team practice i'm coming back home back to my dorm room my mom calls me like uh next year you know because i i wanted to have a bigger dorm space that i was going to cost money um but everything <laughs> everything everything else is pretty much free I'm um, taken care of. So I wanted another dorm space. So she was like, I'm not paying for it next year. Um, then she was like, so <laughs> you need to get on these calls that I'd be getting on these forest calls. And I was ignoring it at first because, you know, as a basketball player, I'm just focused on basketball. I don't care about nothing else. And so when it first came down to that, she was like, oh, you really don't have a choice. You need to make money on your own. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. That's uh, fine. Uh, my way or the highway. <laughs> <laughs> the cutoff. The cutoff. Right okay. <laughs> See, like, you got to find the most expensive college to go to in New York to, to play Division One balls. I'm like, right. Right. Well, this thing, boy, I'm not about to sign my name on another loan. Mm-mm. No, <laughs> no. I'm not about to do that. 
Mama was about to snip it off. Oh my God. Quick, oh, quick. so pretty much I'm just like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, so then COVID happened. So everything like the basketball season, we was about to go into March Madness. Um, we was about to go into the okay. A10 basketball tournament, everything. But March um coronavirus happened, so everything got shut down. So I came home and then she started me. She started making me hop on all these calls. She was like, "Yes, you need to speak. You need to. You need to introduce yourself. Tell me where you're from." Um. So when I first got into it, she was like, "You need to. You need to go online to I Am Center. Watch all these videos. Watch all these programs." I was like, well, "I don't want to do that. I'm kind of lazy now. I, I've, been through, <laughs> I've been through school. College is hard. I, I want to rest." Like, it's been a long season. I want to rest. But then she was like, no, you don't have a choice. You need money in your pocket. So I was like, all right. So I started watching the videos, started developing the concept. It was hard at first. So I started hopping on nightclub and understanding the, the basic behind it. And then she inserted, um, she deposited $200 into my own account. But before that happened, she had me on this demo account. So I was practicing it. I was testing it out. And I was making a good amount of money. So... Mm-hmm. I had a demo account. I started off with ten thousand. Everybody else started off with, and I probably got myself to about thirteen thousand. So then I was like, "All right, let me take this wow. real account. This real account is serious." And I only had the demo account for a month, so I already built up three thousand in a month. Ooh. So I was like, "All right, okay, oh, wow. there you go, there you go." I mean, how, can I just stop you there? How did you feel when you even made the first? I don't know, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Right. I was like, I was, when I first made that, I was like, oh no, let me try this again. So I was, <laughs> and Jay, but, talk about how it probably wasn't even that because I know for me it wasn't the first two hundred dollars. It was like that first thirty dollars. Yeah, and you're like, okay, wait a minute, this is something. Girl, yeah, for me it was like seventy six pence. What you talking about? Like, seventy seven pence every day. I'm the OG. Like we never had a nightclub. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yes, yeah, so pretty much that happened. So finally, it was time. She was like, "All right, so now it's time to move on to the real account." So I got on there, and I was like, "All right, let, let me get into this." I didn't want to just jump straight into it because I knew it was something real. It wasn't anything to just you know, okay, I'm play around with it. It's not monopoly money anymore. And y'all so, know I said. Do not play with my money, right? Y'all already know that. We already know. <laughs> All right, so right. I mean, pretty much, I, I just started hopping on nightclub, taking those trades. We got, I got introduced to US thirty. Everybody was on board about oh, what is US thirty. Like, what is US thirty? I like, like you got somebody. a love language. Like, <laughs> That's my husband right there. You talking about right. my husband? Yeah, you hear me? me. You always be trying to live on me. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, what is US thirty? Everybody explaining to me is like, oh. It's the main thing we use here. So I was like, all right, I'm trying to sell. Stop. So first time, I didn't have a high leverage. I only had 0.01. So I only made like $30, $15 off of it. It was like only. Eliminate that from your vocabulary. Right. <laughs> Eliminate. Yeah. So only. That's, that's good vocabulary. That's only. what I thought too. I was like. Anything under, after I saw 30, I'm like, anything under 30, I don't want it anymore. I mean, <laughs> it's it so fast. Like, I mean, I For real? Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, you oh, my like goodness. Space. Sorry to yeah, cut so. your, your story, Jay, but when I came in the space, we never had, um, well, I didn't know about US 30. So, like I said, like 10 pips for me was like 77 pence. I was a $50 queen, first of all. So, I was a, we had 10 queen. for the holiday when, when we started. Remember that, um, Miss E, we had 10K for the holiday then? And we had like the spreadsheet. Wait, Miss UK, you, you talking about that? Like, we didn't even have none of that when we started. Okay, hello. Let's just take it back. We didn't have no US 30. <laughs> we had swipe trades, get them for real. Just your phone, and that was that. We didn't have that no was it. nightclub. Oh, for real, yeah, yeah there was no nightclub. I'm just holiday. stressing yeah. out what? for you. Well, when it was yeah. Time, yeah. Well, when it was my <laughs> so I just, I just started utilizing nightclub more. Um, started looking online more and then I just started building my account. So I was at $200 and then one morning I'm like, oh, mom, I made, I woke up $190 in profit from US 30. And she's like, oh, wow. oh, that's a lot. Oh, keep on going, boys. Uh, <laughs> it was your chili. That was me. Let's go. Whoa. 
I built myself up to a thousand dollars, and then I'm like, oh okay, so that's nine hundred dollars in profit. That's nine hundred dollars to my name. So I felt good about that. So then I just kept going, and then I got myself to two thousand. That's when she was like, oh okay, so really understanding this. So then I kind of got into the deeper context of it more. Then I started learning about other currencies that are um, just as strong as US 30, such as NASDAQ, S&P, Fox, yeah. Index. Yeah. So oh, that's then I, started using, I started utilizing those tools more. Over the time, I started building up, got to 10,000, and then I got to 25,000. Now, when I told my mom, she didn't believe me. She was like, I told my she didn't believe me. She was like, that's too much money. You made that too quick. So I had to show her everything I was doing. She was like, oh. Wait, wait, listen. When he, because he was working was Amazon that? overnight, right? And he sent a text to the, to, to our little group. And I was like, now mind you, when he was coming in from work, I was getting up going to work. So I looked at the message and I was like, wait a minute, Jay, this say you made, they don't say 2,500, it said 25,000. And he was like, yeah, he was so calm about it. So I was like, he was like, mom, don't tell nobody. I said, what do you mean don't tell nobody? I said, Logic just said we doing a 200 to 20K and you just exceeded that by five, five okay. hundred thousand dollars. That's like a, right. You got well, like twenty five thousand. He was yeah. with it. Like. <laughs> but Good the job, thing Jay. was, the thing oh, yeah. was, I wanted him to share his testimony because I'm like, you're eighteen year old, eighteen years old, and if you could take two hundred dollars to twenty five hundred, and then twenty five hundred to twenty five thousand, that's a testimony to all our youth out here that mm-hmm. they. Can that this yeah. is really real. That's right. Well, I just, I just, I just pretty much kept utilizing the tools, kept going over it, um, introduced it to our little group, um, Mega Millionaires. So, you know, I started working with them more. <laughs> I started getting into my own thing, Logic. You know, he, he called me on all the calls, like my little brother Jay from uh, New York City. <laughs> <laughs> you show mad love all the time, okay? Do, do this, um, do this testimony. I started getting into it. He took me under his wing, so. Started getting into this idea of sharing. So then I finally gathered three people underneath me to make me a P150. Well, I got like five people mm-hmm. underneath me now. I got like five people underneath me in total now, but I'm still building. Right. So, wow. um, so what does that mean? That's... Because now you've got 25K on the phone and now you've got five people as well that you shared the blessing to. So what's that? What's that? Yeah. Um, so money? pretty. Yeah. So pretty much I knew I knew that stuff doesn't just happen overnight, like becoming a chairman. So I focused on making more money and, you know, I just kept building it up. And then a 30k came, then 35k came, yeah. and Wait. then I'm now, at, and then yeah, now I was sitting at 50. I was sitting at 50k one. I was sitting at 50k one. Am I on mute? I'm like, no, I'm like, we're gonna hear you. Yeah, 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 we're gonna hear you. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Jay, this is a question for Jay. Do did you follow any particular strategy, especially with the US 30? Because at the moment, I just find US 30. It's bittersweet. It's it's very unpredictable for me. I mean, um, for you. Okay. And we need time frames, like when, like from two to two hundred to a thousand, a thousand to two thousand. Like how long? We need, we want to know how long. How long did it take you? Oh, that, took us to yeah, thirty thousand, y'all. He said he did that thirty thousand uh, now. That took me about wow two months. About about two months. And what what two was the months? Two months to go to to two thousand. No, they did 200 to 25k in seven days because we mapped that out. We was like, wait a wait, minute, wait, 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 whoa, 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 <laughs> what'd he say? 10 days, right? No, did y'all hear what he said? Two months, no, not 25,000. Oh, 2500. 2500. Oh, yeah, 2500 took a week, yeah, seven okay. days. It took a week. And, and then it took two months from about 2500 to 25,000, he said, about 60 days. Oh, yeah, would you, about would that you long. Doing like a strategy? Would you do wow. every day doing the same kind of strategy? What was you doing? Oh, uh, trend lines. I understand that nothing really goes over the trend line, so I was pretty much going back and forth. If it if it touches the trend line on the downside, then I know it's going to shoot up. So I stayed Very natural good. for a little bit, you know, set my um take profit, and I can say at least every take profit that I was making, I was making at least about five hundred dollars each take profit. So. That's right. Yes. Yo, 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 Jay, you in US 30 right now? No, no, no I'm not in US 30 right now. Right now, <laughs> right now, what's today's day? Today's, I'm I am. 
No, I'm not. Even I am too. Right now. You in a buy or sell? Uh, twenty two. Right the now. Okay. A buy. Yeah. And it's a Thursday. Girl, I'm in that buy. I'm trying to see it go all the way up. See, let me see. We, we don't even normally talk that talk, but this is rich talk, right? We can talk numbers. We can talk <laughs> anything, right? <laughs> I'm trying to see it go to 28508, and that will be a nice wrap for today. I, I've sold it, bought it, you know, traded it again. Yeah, I did it all. I did it all. <laughs> oh, so yeah, what, Jay, what, Jay, I, I get what you're saying, because once you start to really build a relationship, you know, rich university, re res residual relationships and results, right? When you build that relationship with those pairs, I'm, I can see exactly the range, you know, like you said, the trend where it's going to go to, you know, throughout the day. You know, US 30 will burn you now, like, you know, if you want to um, Oh, yeah. Price. Even then, the um, market I don't still, love you. when I trade US 30 compared to other um, currencies, like US 30, I use like a four-hour chart, so I get a look back at like the other patterns, and I draw my trend lines from four hours ago because it, though, that usually works for me, but like for other pairs, I use like a one-hour chart, so mm -hmm. I, I okay. understand. That's the same. That's, that's what I use too, Jay. That's what you be uh, doing, four hour. Yeah. Yeah. Much. So with the four, the four hour. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the four hour actually gives it a more like the history of the trends. And then that's where you can draw out all of all of your, you know, your marks and everything. I don't know if you guys mark up, but I mark up my charts like left, down, right, side, everywhere. <laughs> so um, <laughs> just, <laughs> just to make sure. So just to make sure like, you know, and I use other indicators as well. So. The in a lot so of, let's talk like, about I that the... because you've been out here keeping your your testimony on the low. So we got Jay twenty five K in the right, building, Yumi. still running it up. But well, you've been running up a bag too. You <laughs> like what's like what bag are you running up over there, and what's that looking like, and how long? Let's talk numbers. <laughs> All right. So I started a few months. I uh, started about five six months ago. Um, but I've made a total of. Uh, $89,000. Um, <laughs> thank you, y'all. Thank you so much. All praise so, to you, baby. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. But the thing is with that is I, I risk a lot. I use a, a, a much more rigorous um, leverage. So with that, I, but I, I do my research, of course, I look at my Forex factory news, I use like other like Vidi facts. And I mean, uh, what is that other one where it shows currency like strength. Um, currency, currency value? Yeah. Strength meter. yeah, the strength. Yeah, that's, that's the meter. I use that as well in accordance with like also um, in joint it, the, the strategies that I look at I am Academy. So I I trade oh, live trade along with up. other um uh oh, oh. Well, oh what's going I on? Wanted, I just <laughs> wanted to show the uh, people what you were talking about. Oh okay. Oh yeah yes. Okay I was like whoa right, right. <laughs> everything just changed <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah so i kind of keep it on a down low only because i wanted to make my first 100k just so i can say hey i made my first 100k this is the real deal if you want to trade with me trade with me now because it's not for a limited time and it took me a while to get it um my my i think when i first my when i first made like my my first 20k i started splurging like <laughs> buying this buying that paying all this and i also paid off all my debt and that's probably one of the best things Woo! that i like, yes, was that i paid yes. all of my debt to be the best that's good. baby how much debt was <laughs> so, that was that your student debt yeah my student debt was about 25k wow 25 to yeah so the fact that I was able to pay it all off and my car note. So and how long and how long on. was that? How long did it take you to from saying yes to forex to being able to pay that off? I I paid everything in three months. Ooh, hey, taught that talk. Wow, three months. Are you gone from your Phenomenal. job now? I am not. I am still currently working only because it's an extra stream of income. Right. And if I can do this, I mean, and also I like, like I said, from the beginning, I get bored easily and I'm not bored with this. Oh, come on. Like looking at numbers all day. I can, but you know, in, I need a little interaction with people. <laughs> let's so, talk about like, that. That's how, that's how I'm feeling, guys. Yeah, let's talk about that for real. Before we wrap up and I've got some questions in the chat. 
you know so you know we're talking we're, we're talking big numbers here like this is rich talk you we're talking yeah. about an app on our phone that you're able to push a few buttons like jay said we've mm. got different um academies we've got different resources like the nightclub and once we tap into those we actually learn how to make our own increase give ourselves our own pay rises but once you realize how to turn your phone into an atm then kind of what's next like when it comes to like you're saying working and doing normal things like how, what, how does your attitude change and you know, we've got a lot of parents on here with their kids i mean are you able to tell your kids to do laundry when they're when you know jay just made a whole twenty five hundred dollars in a week jay made a hundred thousand he's gonna do that laundry <laughs> <laughs> Okay. As long as he's he home, he gonna do he gonna do the bathroom and he gonna do his laundry. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love right. it. So who's unemployable? Like, what is that looking like as far as you know? Maybe Jay, would you go back and do um you know part time work around college? Like, what Jay is probably how unemployable. Now that you know how to... He's probably <laughs> unemployable. <laughs> Oh, wait, did you see the face? No one's been able to pay me. No, they I can't pay you. The thing about it is, once we once we stepped into this realm, once the mind's expanded, it can't go yeah. back. So exactly. no one's going to really that's be right. able to tell him, like, oh, I can offer you. He's he, there's, he's going to laugh at somebody. I'm going to offer him a 17 dollar an hour job or 22 dollars no, yeah, i was going to say like what an hour like 50 dollars an hour or 100 what, what how what's the hourly rate for, right for, even a like, hundred dollars an hour is. though it's not going to be worth it to him because like our our our, our value has a value so much, you right. know like, the value of knowledge and, and and that's when we become unemployable because there's literally nothing no one can pay you that's gonna one offer you this that's amount right. of freedom, and two, we literally have the power to go in and decide. You know what? Today, I think I'm just gonna make ten thousand, and I'm going for it. And we can do that. Right. Thank you for the holiday, baby. That's, that's, that's right. right. Uh -huh. And and to and, and to sit there and know that back, Ashley, and to know and to oh, sit in class and know that you're really that you can really pay your your uh your your uh professor. Like, right. I mean, it's more than yeah. you do. Wow. Yeah. wow. But yeah, he's oh, he's going back because um as he stated, he's um he has a um a ball what is he called? Like a um what is your the um scholarship? <laughs> you got no, like where they time. where they scout him. So now he has some offers on the table for different colleges. Let's oh, go. Congrats, Jay. Go ahead, go Jay. On, Jay. Look at you. And you I'm got glad that already. to be able <laughs> and and I'm not, I'm not like, I, we're not trying to say that like, don't go to school. Uh, like I, like everyone says here on the table, go to school, expand your mind, expand your horizons. Like it's okay to still be able to soak in culture, different horizons, different ideas, mm -hmm. and basically mm -hmm. cultivate mm -hmm. your own mind. You know what I mean? Um, it's just like yeah. with you, you can, you still can make money. You still can, you still can go to school on your own time you know it's not where yeah. is the timeline it's you, you you have to do this you have to go get a job you have you know what i mean it's like i want i want to go to yeah. because i want to type thing so right, it's, right. It's like jay go go for it like i'm all for it you guys are amazing you're amazing uh, i'm pretty sure you will be drafted in the nfl don't forget me yumi okay um, give me some seat tickets. You oh, know. Yeah. NBA. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, NBA. <laughs> Don't forget about me, okay? Let me, let me, you know, shake some hands with uh, Michael Jordan, and yeah. I know that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, sorry, that was awesome. Yumi right now on that note. So we got a question from the audience. It says, "Would Yumi swap trading for a sugar daddy now? Which is the best option for young ladies today?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So number one, um, I would not swap trading for a sugar daddy now because I know I can handle my own self. Um, and two, I can buy anything myself. So I don't need a sugar daddy anymore. But thank you for the offer. I I am flattered. <laughs> Only what um um strategy was you using? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What strategy, strategy? Was you, were you using? Yeah. Like okay, gold so, cups, right trade, your 30. So, so with, with that, um, the strategies that I've been using is the 
I, I don't use, I use the London payout, the London pay. Have, are you familiar with London payout? Woo! I love London payout. With Dr. Kathy. So they yeah. give you, yes. So with that, I listen to her and I look at the triangle trades. Do you, do, are you familiar with that? Triangle yeah. trades? No, is that the GP? Oh. I don't know about triangle trades. Yeah. It's like base you you you. It's like a I mark up. That's not my my strategy. I mark up the trades to where it's like a triangle trade in what direction it's going. Okay. It breaks off that trade. That's that's like mine. Half of the scanner. Yes, um, like yes. a little bit like the half of the scanner, but like half yes. like A B C. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah. I have another question. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Sorry, was that Ashley? I was asking what time's the London payout session. The London patient is around the three, around the three live. Around? Yes, the live at uh, at two two a.m. Mm -hmm. Two a.m. Yeah, yeah. so so come join us. Eastern or Central? Um, it is Central for me. Two a.m. Two a.m. Two a.m. Central. I don't know. You're you're from and three a.m. New York. Eastern. I'm Central. Yeah. Yes. Central. Yeah, so you can. And that's uh, going like, on like, like, hey, hey, in London for us. I could Woo -woo. not figure it out. I, I just added on London. I do have Gold Cup, but I just added on the London Hail because I was like, you know, if you want more, you got to do more. So yeah, exactly, I was going to do both because I, yes. I was trying to do the London session and the New York session, but then I couldn't figure out what time she came on. So now I'll be on that tonight. Yeah, just send you out? know, you know what I don't know about the space. Oh, yet. um, and I'm sorry, Ashley, correct? Uh, so oh. she she'll send out a tell um she has like a little telegram group that every there's three people that we trade with uh miss kathy anastasia and i believe kevin um they all on that yep. uh, same admin program yeah 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 and uh so they basically talk people. to you about different strategies on and it's oh. it's great to use um i love them well, you nicole, interact I know with them my sister nicole she loves the london payout gang um for you guys mm. you're wondering what language we're speaking first of all this is guapanese the language of money and what we have inside <laughs> <laughs> what, what we have are inside the university what's it called guapanese honey guapanese we got coffee and coffee over here. That's my New York. That's my New oh York. My anyway, God. <laughs> so right. what we have it. out here, guys, is we have a plethora of elite tools and software. The same software and tools that the <laughs> banks are using, and we get to choose a la carte, just like an all-you-can-eat buffet. We can add on a bit of gold cup. We can sprinkle some web analyzer, and we can just mm. go ahead and get a full course of harmonic scanner. What am I talking about? All this is is mo money. These are alerts. These are strategies. These are tools. And what comes with that also is over 150 multiple six, seven, and eight figure earners using those tools and software. All you have to do is log on, just like you guys. You know, I don't know what what what, what, what do people watch these days. I mean, I have no clue. All I do is watch Rich Table Talk and watch my money moving. I don't know what you guys watch anymore. Maybe Power or whatever's on the TV these days. Family Fortune, God knows. I <laughs> myself not even watching TV no more. Like I'm. I'm on the computer. I'm up. I'm moving around. I'm like, but yeah. Really before good. I was stuck to the TV. It's not even on purpose. Everybody knows, like them. Nicole. You know, when it comes to power, and you know, I, I, those in my shows, loving hip hop. I like the ratchets. I'm not gonna lie. You know? <laughs> I, 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 the little fuzzy ones. <laughs> I don't even get time. Like before, it was hard to, you know, sometimes you want to stack them up. You want to stack up one or two so you can just watch them like back to back. Girl, the other day I'm like, oh my gosh, I've not even watched Power for four weeks. And then it was so difficult because I'm like, well, you know, I've got to get on the boardroom and then we've got the huddle call. And then, okay, you know, it's equities opening, you know, USB is about to move. I mean, there's nothing, there's just, there's nothing better than watching, you know, build up your own, you know, your, your own account all day. But Nicole, I know that you, since being in the platform, you know, you've really gravitated to the TV educators um, and been able to, rather than worrying about how to adapt your own strategy or even, you know, stressing yourself out. Now, let me just say, because this is some real tea, real talk, and we are family. Like, this is my actual sister from my mother and father, my actual blood sister. And she is one of the most laid back people. And she's more or less horizontal, right? She's so laid back, so laid back that she probably can't even reach the camera right now to turn a camera on. But what I'm saying... <laughs> I've seen her come in this space and be the most accidental earner, both residually and trading. This is a girl who said, 
no, I'm not really interested in that. You know, don't really want to do it. I haven't really got the time. And then next minute, you know, when she's posting the screenshots in the group, you know, I'm US, but I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, what what in the low-key trading is going on here? <laughs> and I know that you, um, Nicole, you like Anastasia, who is one of the London payout gang. So, you know, talk about that for all the laid back people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, um, over the summer, um, so before I started University of Property in September, I had a bit of, especially with everything going on, I was, you know, working from home and I work in education. So over summertime, there wasn't too much going on. So I suppose that gave me a chance to have a look and see, you know, what this whole IML platform was about. Um, and just looking to find out when, you know, when the live shows came on. And, you know, so I just started joining the ones that um, came on. And, yeah, I came across Anastasia. And I did, um, yeah, if I, when I had the time, I would join in on her live sessions. And they were, they were good. So what does that look like? So how long do you have? Because I know if I want to watch a film with my sister or do anything with my sister, the first question she asks is, well, how long is it going to be? Or how long is that going to be? Like, she's not really the girl trying to invest a lot of time into anything, apart from maybe, you know, leisure. <laughs> so what does that look like time-wise, you know? And how do you know Anastasia is on? And how long does it take you to figure out what she's doing? Or like, what, Tell me time-wise time for those people who don't have a lot of time or don't really want to invest all that brain space. They've got, you know, life going on. They've got uni going on and all that. Well, each session is generally an hour, really, isn't it, on um, on the live channels. Um, I think you told me about, um, was it, is it Dr. Kathy? So that, yeah, whoop, whoop. On a Tuesday. So I started with that one on a Tuesday. And it's just, yeah, it's just an hour, hour at a time and you just follow what the person's doing. So it didn't really, yeah, you have to understand it. But I didn't have, um, I'll admit, I hadn't done much of the education at you know, at that point, or I didn't really know, you know, the ins and outs of trading. I knew what I was doing, you know, I had a demo account before, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really have like any, my own strategy or anything. I was just copying what the educator was doing. I was just following. What kind of things do they say? Like, because for people who have no idea what trading looks like, um, I know that there's literally two buttons, a buy and a sell button. Um, that's all you can do in trading. You can press buy, blue buy, or red sell. So on the sessions, what are the instructions like? Um, the, in, the instructions are just basically buy this at this price. I mean, they write it on the screen for you. So, so as long as you've, you know, wow. done your, your due diligence of understanding, you know, what a sell is, how to put in like a price or how to put in a take profit, how to put in a stop loss. You basically just copy what's on the screen so it's not so if you can you read and if you can press the button basically if, you, if you've got ears to listen and you can read and you you have the ability to press a button on your phone you can profit yeah yep copy paste Thank profit you, baby let's go let's grow <laughs> i got another question thanks so much for that i got another question right here it says miss e what was the highest expectation that you had for your son? Now that he is in this space, what is the expectation now? Um, I don't know that I put an expectation on him. Um, I, I just hope that he um, doesn't become cocky or um, yeah. uh, cocky. Confident, definitely, but cocky, no. So I don't put an expectation on him, you know, I let him excel. I, I think that he will do well. You know, he has God within him. He has a, a tattoo on him. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So Amen. he'll be fine. I don't, have, I don't have any expectations on him. I, I really don't. I, um, I'm letting him live his dream and just guiding him through the process. So I don't have, I don't have any expectations, you know, I think, um, if he sidetracks somehow, he'll let us know. Um, and if we see him going to the left, we'll let him know. But so far, so good. You know, I still have to allow him. He's only 19. I still have to allow him to make, you know, his choices. He's gonna, 
you make good choices, you're going to make bad choices. But the one thing I won't do um, that I think a lot of people, you know, parents do is try to live through their kids. So I want him to live his own life. And so mm. I, don't, I don't have any expectations, but I think, you know, now that he knows how to trade and, you know, he's had a taste of money, you know, um, and he hasn't become <laughs> cocky, um, and he's still confident, you know, that's a big thing. You know, like I said, he's only 19. So his confidence is still growing because, you know, he's borderline, he's still borderline, young, mm. you know, older kid, young man. So. Yeah. But uh, we got, okay, we well, got you all spending this, that we got all this as well. rich family to help him, huh? For real, I was gonna say that you know the mentorship that you have is a big part of what we get in this space because it's easy mm -hmm. to make money, but to keep money and to have the um integrity to you know to not be arrogant and boastful and all, you you know pride comes before fall and you know a lot mm -hmm. of people power you know money and power can get to people's head and they can end up. It doesn't necessarily, you know, bring out money can amplify. Am, it only amplifies your character. That's, you know, one thing that, you know, one of my mentors says, whatever your character is, those those traits, money only amplifies those things. So it's always important that we're building up, you know, the correct mindset for a successful long term um, successful individual. And I definitely would say, you know, shout outs to Big Brother Log Logic and Big Sis Dr. China. Logic will be on mm. Rich Table Talk tomorrow as well, guys. I let the cat out of the bag. If you keep hearing <laughs> talking about like logic, logic, mm -hmm. like who is the logic? What is the logic? So this is literally like the the goal, the OG of all this. Oh, I think gosh. every single oh, person like that. has come on the table talk. <laughs> oh. Logic's name. So I'm so excited for that. But Jay, what are you spending that bread on? What does the 19 year old that's got an extra 50k, 100k? What does he spend his bread on? Nothing. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing is, so smart. is that he has money. But he he's not a he's not a splurge kid. Like he's not going out here buying uh -oh. two and three hundred dollars sneakers and <gasps> Bless not doing your none heart. of that. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Yeah, so he, he's a kid that'll eat you out of house and home. So most of his money goes <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> so you are not Uber Eats. <laughs> All right. And DoorDash. And DoorDash. DoorDash. <laughs> Oh, we don't have DoorDash in the UK. We're going to have to bring it through. You know what? It's funny now that we have, you know, disposable, these things like a Uber Eats and what, we can actually invest in, you know, in these companies. We were on um, Rise and Profit today and, you know, shout out to Dr. Jill Tankard. She was giving us some real good advice and the things right now in this climate and um, kind of like higher level of conversation, things that, you know, when you're on the 95%, you know, exchanging your time for money, you don't know and are privy to conversations that are happening at a higher level, especially during turbulent times, you know, the things that the banks are setting and planning to do. And we're being connected to, you know, a whole wealth network where people have got oil wells, you know, different kind of investments and connections to different things. She basically gave us the drop. My phone's been pinging off in, um, you know, one of the groups that I'm in. I need to go through the messages. But I'm just seeing all these funny things like, uh, what do you call it? Different kind of um, initials of things that are good investments right now. And, you know, I just really give all glory and honor to God because, you know, to be on the right side of wealth, to be on the right side of when, you know, when... When when the tides of life hit, basically, you know, being built on the rock. So let's see what else we have here in the chat. We have asking all of you, how much did you put in your live trade the first time you did it live? And also another question says, how much did you invest? And that might be to both Yumi and Jay as well. So um, what kind of, I told you guys I was the $50 queen. I was literally the $50 done. When I first started, I didn't do any demo, nothing, because I started on Sunday night, the market opened on Monday, I had rent to pay, I literally took, you know, my subscription money out of the rent, so I went hard in the paint, like, it wasn't, it's not something I recommend, <laughs> because I learned you, a lot of lessons. You were <laughs> wild, Miss UK, oh my god. Girl, I said, yeah, this thing has wild. got to work, not now, but right now, <laughs> like, I took 50 whole dollars, right, and that's not even, in, in the UK, that's about 40 pounds, now, that mm -hmm. taught me a lot of lessons, as you can imagine, because, you know, you don't have a lot of 
room for your money to kind of move around. So I really, it was like being in a gym. It built up my muscle. So, you know, like I said, I was excited when I seen 77 pence. 10 pips for me was like 77p. And I was like, oh, yes, go on, another 77, 78, yay! <laughs> yes, and I, was really I won, like, it. The, the crazy thing is, you know, when I built it up, say $20 or whatever, if I took mm -hmm. a hit, I might take like a 30 $40 hit. I remember one day I took my account right down to about, seven dollars like that's how much you know um you know i hit i took and i was devastated i think I've, the, the smaller um l's have been more i've hurt me more than the bigger ones because the more money you have in your account the quicker it is to build up but i built that seven dollars right back up to a hundred dollars it wasn't it wasn't easy but it was simple mm -hmm. and it was mainly um discipline and mm -hmm. risk so that is the little, the, that is the least I've invested. How about you guys? How much did you guys invest into your live trading account? Jason, um, Jason said two, oh. he, he started with 200. We both did. I started with 200 yeah. and then I um, yeah. opened his with 200. Mm -hmm. yeah okay i think it was uh i think i also yeah i also started with 200 um but it only because there was a a a promo that was going on 200 to 220k so that's 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 what oh, i that's when you came in. in yeah that's when i came in i was like <laughs> 200 to 220k come on sign me up right here come on <laughs> amazing that's Anybody how like, else? When, we, when we told logic that when we called logic he was like huh yeah logic was on the phone he was like I said, Logic, Jay got something to tell you. And when he was like, I took my account from 200 to 25K. Logic was like, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm going to call y'all right back. <laughs> oh, I was on a call. I do think that, do think that is, but, you know, we have so many tests. We spoil here inside Rich. We hear a lot of testimonies from people who started with $200 and built it to four-figure, five-figure sums. Mm -hmm. So I definitely would say that $200 is the sweet spot. You know, two or three hundred dollars. I like three. You know, I'm a little bit more like like you, Yomi. I'm a bit more of a um, risky sometimes. Well, I was in the mm -hmm. past. I'm a lot. You know, a lot. My yeah. risk is so low now. I'm a, I'm a micro um, G now. Mm. But um, yeah, so I would say two or three hundred dollars account is a great starting amount. Um, we've got another question for Nicole. It says, "What is studying? What is Nicole studying, and would she swap it to trade? Where does she? Where does trading fit into her future?" Ooh. And if you got you guys want to get your last questions in because I'm um, about to ooh, wrap up shortly. What's happened? My connect. Can you guys still hear me? Mm. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, it's gone on my laptop. So yeah, that's the question for you, Nicole. Like, what is your trading and um, what is your future look like as far as trading? And would you swap it? Um, well, I'm currently studying and um, doing a doctorate in educational psychology, um, and I don't um, know. Uh, it's something that like you to like. Yeah. I'm just okay. saying, Dr. Nicole. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's something that I would def that I definitely intend to do alongside um, like studying and qualifying because it's just extra money, and you know, if it goes like people's testimonies, it'll be giving me more income than the salary of the job will. So, yeah, it's definitely something I intend to do, especially now, as I say, because um, I am a student. I'm not on a high income as a student. Well, I'm not on any income as a student. You just get what they <laughs> decide to hand out. <laughs> so, yeah. In terms and of have you experience. been able to see some trading testimonies or some profits? Because I know you also, we've, especially with Anastasia and London Payout, they trade a lot of indices. So, um, do. what do you trade, and are, are, are you seeing are you seeing the fruit of following along with them? Um, I would say I think, and um, I think when you get into this space, you might have wild dreams, and you know it's it's great to say the testimonies of two hundred to you know, thousands and thousands of pounds, which is great. I think in reality, I think it's, well, for me anyway, my experience is it's a bit more of a up and down learning learning curve due to like, mis you know, mistakes that I have made, but it has shown that it can be fruitful. Um, so yeah, I mean, those lives were good. Um, you could make a lot of money on them, but then, you know, 
you know, things go up and down, so you could lose a lot of money in them also. But it's just all experience to um, then know what it is that works for you, works for you basically. And I think the the London pay up, um, the London strategy. What do we call it now? Oh, London, um, at London breakout. Yeah, yeah. London pay up. That's been shared within the community. That's been um, that's been good as well. Yeah, I think what I would definitely say, you know, setting your expectations is always important. Um, and like anything, studying to show ourselves approved. So a lot of people come in the space and um, skip that part and go straight to the money portion. Um, and you'll find that you will take those L's. The, you will learn. You win or you learn <laughs> some way or the hard way. I mean, I did my education on my first night, but I kind of just bulldozed through it so I could get to the money bag. But every single time I blew an account, because those $50 accounts don't last long if you don't really know what you're doing, I found myself right back in the academy. So I was always, I was always clear whenever I wasn't getting, um, you know, when I, if I was getting more downs and ups, then there's something I'm missing, there's something I'm not learning. So I would take myself right back into my demo account and right back mm -hmm. into that academy to make sure that I was seeing consistency. And for me now, four years later, especially, you know, having a, a team of people following, that is that consistency is more than big wins. So even people might laugh at that 77p. We don't count our money in dollars, um, cents and pounds here. We count it in pips. So that 77 pence was 10 pips. So if I knew how to make 10 pips, then I knew that that could be £7.77, that could be 777 that could be 7077 just because it's mm -hmm. the same amount of movement, the same amount of points. So for me, building up the consistency and not the value um, was, was, was big for me. As long as I could get as, no matter what the amount was, I mean, I talk about all the time on here, a penny doubling um, for 30 days um, is, if I was to give you a mill right now or a penny that doubles, you know, every day for 30 days, everyone more or less says the mill, but that penny doubling every single day at the end of 30 days ends up being more than five mil, um, which is the power of compounding your interest, which we're able to do. Shout out to um, 10K for the holiday right now. We're running it up and that's exactly the... Um, the chart I followed at the time um, and I was able to make four figures by Christmas from my from my 50k joining around this time of year when I got in not knowing a lot but just you know staying consistent you know stay sticking to the plan being disciplined and you know for me I quit a million times you know sometimes I even quit now but then every time you quit it's like you know what we were saying with Jay and um, Yumi before once you know once you have the knowledge you know and you know better you do better so there was nothing else out there that I knew I mean I was still putting applications and stuff but I was like well nothing ain't gonna give me that I mean I can do it I, I, if I the longer I stick to this thing you know it has to work the more I do it the more I'll do it so I mean mm -hmm. if this has been around for for generations you know since 4 AD like who am I like who am I I am sticking to this thing all I got is time so Right. And that was, you know, my attitude when I, when I came in. So last question, I think there might be a few in the chat, but we, I want to wrap up. So we've got from our youngest trader in the building, Nikwain. He is 12 Nikwain. years old, Jay. So we've been here for your money. He just hey, um, got his mum and dad to sign him up because he mm -hmm. said, look, I don't want no Xbox for Christmas. You know, right. I don't want, you know, a Gucci man bag. I want Forex. I want, a, I want the Academy. Oh. Um, so he oh. wants to know, um, Jay, what truly motivated you the most? What truly motivated you the most? He's 12, so he wants to know what motivated you the most. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what motivated me the most um, was probably the fact of overall having money. I'm having more money than a lot of kids my age. Um, um, like just um going around school a lot of people are saying like oh you don't have this kind of clothes you don't you don't wear this you don't wear that blah 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 and i didn't i didn't really have a lot of money on me at that time so that definitely was a motivation to have money so i could be like yeah i don't need a lot of things you guys buy i have money in my pockets you could be fly out there but i'm flying in my pockets so that was <laughs> That's humble. That's humble. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah that's amazing. Um, and Jay, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm a, I'm a coming. I'm sorry. I'm just bulldozing. And again, I apologize. But, <laughs> Go for um, it. 
<laughs> this is my I'm so sorry. This is, okay. I have a habit of doing. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> but um, but my motivation is really just being able to provide a better future for myself, you know, and um, being able to really uh, expand my knowledge. Um, also, yeah, having an Xbox is also a motivation. That's where I just start, you know. Um, Xbox and. That's that's all. Yeah. What well, what what his uh, what's what's his name? The youngest the eight year old. Nee Queen. Uh, nee Queen. Nee Queen. I apologize, Nee Queen. A uh, twelve. He's twelve. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's like that's that's my type <laughs> of thing where I can see people growing, seeing people living in lavish houses, but also like being humble about it. That's 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 what motivates me. You know, so being able to have a good future. So my other generations to come like my my grandkids my kids for able real to, yeah and yeah, also to be able why, to live a comfortable life that's why um um miss uk that you know by jay being in college that's why you know i had discussed with dr chang that let's do the you know trading for tuition because so many yeah. kids go to school you know go to college and they come out in there and you know thousands of thousands of dollars in debt and the way things are going, you know, that debt hangs over their head for a lot yeah. of years. So if you could learn this skill set, you can still go to, you know, you can still go to college, but you can pay your way through college. And then when you come out, mm -hmm. you can get your degree and don't owe Sally Mae or Sally Mae. Uh, mm -hmm. higher yeah. ed education and all the other ones that's related to her. No money. <laughs> all her relatives, right? <laughs> all her money grabbing relatives, right? All my grabbing relatives. Yeah, yeah. So, I love yeah. it. What, what about you, Miss Pretty Rich? What motivates you the most? What's your why, girl? Miss Pretty Rich, can you hear us? You on mute, by the way. She muted. You on mute, babe? Kawana, you muted. Oh, there you go. There, there I go. You go. <laughs> Y'all was just running it, so I was just listening and taking all that stuff in. <laughs> what y'all say? What motivated you the most, babe, in this space? Like, what's your why? My why is to do it for my kids and my family, also myself. Um, it just gave me um, it gave me my confidence back. Um, it gave me my drive back to know that I can do anything. So really my why is for me personally. And um, I'm just excited that I said, you know, yes, I'm I'm excited for, you know, I got like a lot of sisters and brothers, like people in, a, I mean, it's deeper than money for me, you know? Right. So mm. I don't know about anybody else, but when I joined this space, I was in an uncomfortable place, you know? Like I said, I had lost my mom, I lost everything. So being around all of these people just, you know, for hope again, you know, it just made me happy to have like other people, um, like-minded individuals, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and we all get money together, like who we praying together, you know what I'm saying? We encouraging each other, like it's deeper than money, money there. Yeah, we can make it's the relationships, money. it's, it's relationships yeah. that it's I'm, relationship. I'm so drove on. Yeah, my loyalty stands real deep. So, um, and then the money is a plus, you know, but to get money with your people like that's like, feel good, you yeah. know, so that's my story, guys. Um, joining 4X really just did something to me. It bought me out like, you know, UK, you know, I used to hate getting on the camera. I don't want to talk. Yeah. On the phone. You know, <laughs> they used to have to force me to do this, you know, and to be confident now. Like I didn't even have confidence as pretty as I look. Right. You know, we I cannot be transparent though, you know. Um, sometimes behind a pretty smile is a lot of hurt, you know. Amen. So Amen. I really was going through it and I, I'm a fighter, but you know, this space is so much more for me than money could ever do. But I'm so blessed yes. to have the money along the journey and to be connected Girl. to beautiful individuals, guys. But you know. What's your testimony as well? Like you had a, you had a, you've got a testimony as well. Your, your, um, how many days was it? Nine days or 10 days? With a yeah. House? Well, like when I first joined guys, I like financed my account with a thousand dollars. And then, um, 
in 19 days, I made $2,700 plus the thousand that I had. So it was amazing. Wow. And then like, I made 10 K in nine days. Like that was just stupid. You know, I was like, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, mind blowing. Yeah. What? And then I was like, work well, to work to well. Kawana. Going to work where? No, ma'am. I will not. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it. it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You have my own life. You know what I'm saying? I can write my own check. You know? I'm as long as my phone is in my hand. Yes. Kawana, what's your name? That's right. I'm a junkie for... I am like, I love adrenaline. I mean, I've been through so much in my life. Like, I love my, I mean, I'm used to my adrenaline pumping. So I'm a scalper, really. Um, And I scalped that to get 10 grand in nine days. So that was all For real? Yeah. Now, the first time, I'll finish it short was time trading, guys. Very sharp, yeah. Yeah. But listen, Bless your listen, little heart. listen. Oof. I lost a lot, too. Now, let's, let's be transparent. You know. I mean, we talk about mm -hmm. our wins, but, you know, we have some losses along mm -hmm. the way. And and what Some I realized learning. is it teaches you discipline. You know, you have to be Ooh. disciplined because the money is there. But guess what? Just like he gave it to you, he'll take it away. The market don't love mm -hmm. you. So you got to right. get the greed out. You know, you got to get <laughs> no the greed love. out. So what I did was I started setting goals for myself because it was just so overwhelming with all this money. Like, I'm like, shit, I didn't want to sleep. Excuse my French guy. But <laughs> <laughs> I can't even eat out because I'm on my phone. I'm just not attentive to nothing, guys, you know? So I had to be disciplined. And I yeah. had to sit down and I had to give myself a goal. How much do you want to make today? If $500, I started with one, then I graduated, then I went to five. Now, if I make that five, guess what? I don't care what the market doing. I'm getting out. Right. Mm -hmm. Even though I yeah. make more, right? But I feel like if I made, if I didn't make the five today, guess what? Tomorrow might be better than yesterday. So it's right. going, mm -hmm. so I'm not just in there like that no more. Like I don't do it no more because yep. I'm trying to, you know, help other people now. So I know that um, I'm, I became a builder unintentionally, first off. But I couldn't help but tell somebody, like, I'm like, look, y'all, this is for real. Because I was shocked. <laughs> you know, right, I had to right. myself, shoot. I was like, shit, that look I'm a, I'm a beautician, mom. I don't know nothing about all that. It just look complicated. <laughs> Right. Well, guys, no, that's I'm right. Not, no, I'm not, no, guys. We have been on. We've got an extended yeah, table go. talk show today. <laughs> like we have gone above and beyond. Like I don't know how long y'all gonna be peeping through the curtains, peeping through the window. Like come <laughs> in. Like it's so much warmer inside anyway. Like come and take a seat. We got chairs. We got space. So we'll be nice. here same time tomorrow at 9 p.m. But we don't want to see y'all at the bottom. Come to the top. It's way too crowded down there. So we'll see you tomorrow. Rich Table Talk, 9 p.m. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And um, if somebody invited you mm -hmm. onto this call and you're thinking, okay, how do I get a seat at this table? Oh, they're talking some big figures. I, I, I want to be able to, I want to fire my boss. I want to see racks on my phone. Go ahead and reach back <laughs> to the person who thought highly of you to invite you into the conversation. So on that note, guys, peace, love, and light and blessings. And I'll see you guys same time, same place tomorrow. Let's grow. Thank you, Miss UK. Bye, 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 b